Fellow South Africans, this afternoon marks the end of a grueling campaign season, but more than anything, a celebration of the moment South Africa finds itself in. In the coming week, we will mark the end of an era of destruction, division, and failure, and the start of an era defined by progress, fixing, and most importantly, unity. Together with over 200,000 Action SA volunteers across all nine provinces, for the love of our country, we recognize that to fix it, we had to roll up our sleeves and take our message of hope and action to every township, suburb, rural area, and city center. It is through these extensive travels that my journey throughout communities in the Western Cape has lifted the veil, often concealed by a 24-hour PR machinery on the absolute squalor that forgotten communities have been subjected to over the past 15 years under the DA and over the past 30 years under the ANC. From Mannenberg to Guguletu, Happy Valley to Wallace Dean, Hanover Park to Mfuleni, Skalogocha to Lavender Hill, Liochamka to Kayamandi. These are communities across the Western Cape that have yet to experience the joy of clean running water, a safe and secure environment, access to adequate health care, or quality education. Let us be clear in diagnosing this horror. It is the arrogance and isolation born out of majority governance absorbed slow, solely in the politics of a caucus to the neglect of the everyday needs of every community. Look no further than the emergence of coalitions, which should serve as an indicator that voters have lost faith in a failed political establishment that has kept them shackled by the burden of poverty and failing service delivery and without the dignity of a job. Voters have instead recognized that the future of South Africa must be defined by collective contributions of political leaders who can give justice to the representation of community needs and the interests in a government. So when asked about Action SA's role in the Western Cape, let me make it clear that it is to bring the voices of communities back into government. <laughs> where we can uphold the principles of accountability, ethical leadership, and the importance of putting our residents above political, party political interests. Our job is to combat the impunity associated with a failed political system that has neglected our communities for far too long. Fellow South Africans, while this election may certainly be a test of the maturity of our democratic system, it is also an opportunity for every citizen to usher in change. Tonight, I stand before you with a firm belief that this change will signify a departure from the establishment that has failed us for far too long. What the 29th of May represents is the first real opportunity for us as South Africans to declare that enough is enough. It is a chance for us to choose a province where the rule of law is restored and where ruthless gangs do not dictate the, the terms. It is a chance for us to choose a province where our people, especially the youth, do not languish at home but are upskilled and empowered to become active participants in a re-energized economy. It is a chance for us to choose a province where our municipalities are well run, free from corruption, and capable of delivering services to all residents, regardless of their postal code. It is a chance for us to choose a party that will address the socioeconomic and spatial barriers that continue to define many forgotten communities by chronic underdevelopment, substance abuse, and gangsterism. It is a chance for us to choose a party that will put the interests of South Africans first. It is a chance for us to choose Action SA. Yeah. 